Good morning. I am very excited to be online with you to welcome you to the second annual Mission and Installation Contracting Command Virtual Acquisition Planning Briefing for Industry. As an alternate approach for communicating Army contract opportunities, during the pandemic last year, we had to adapt fast and found that our first virtual event was greatly received by industry representatives from all across the country. It's not only saved travel expenses for attendance, but also expanded industry participation, which allowed the Mech and Army to grow the industrial base. Team Mech's mission is to deliver the power of Army contracting within the continental United States strategic support area for Army forces to ensure globally dominant land force capability. The Army strategy is to remain ready to fight tonight while simultaneously modernizing for the future. The MIC is made up of about 1,300 military and civilian contracting and support professionals across the continental United States and Puerto Rico. We are a subordinate command to the Army Contracting Command, which serves as the contracting arm for the Army Materiel Command. The MIC is comprised of two contracting support brigades and two field directorate offices responsible for oversight of 28 field contracting offices and nine contracting battalions throughout the country that are strategically aligned to support our mission partners. Our organization is focused on executing contracts and training civilian and uniformed professionals to provide soldiers and their families what they need to remain the most decisive land force in the world. One of the keys to success is to expand the way Team MIC communicates with our industry partners. It is imperative that we foster and strengthen our relationships with not only our mission partners, but also with the commercial support that sustains them. The men and women of the MIC must proactively engage those involved in Army business. As we forge strategic alliances, we synchronize and integrate premier contracting solutions, as well as optimize readiness with mission partners. Virtual outreach opportunities such as this one reduce the barriers to competition and increases the transparency of information, thereby expanding the knowledge of business opportunities. MIC relies on its people, processes, and performance components of readiness to enable our ability to consistently deliver support to our mission partners and become the most effective contracting organization in Army Contracting Command. In fiscal year 2021, we partnered with large and small businesses to deliver over 5.2 billion in installation support services, facilities maintenance and sustainment, logistics and mission support to the Army enterprise across the continental United States. Almost half of our total dollars were awarded to American small businesses. Together, Industry and government work hand-in-hand hand forging strategic relationships to meet the needs of the Army. The MIC and its supported mission partners, I thank you for all your enthusiasm, your selflessness, and giving your best for our nation. Now more than ever, the Army needs responsive and quality contracting to support its global mission. The Army will continue to be a pillar of strength because of the crucial contracting support by the dedicated men and women of the Mission and Installation Contracting Command. Today and tomorrow, we will continue to provide contracting excellence for our soldiers. We as a team are successful because of events like this APBI. Keep in mind, there are opportunities for small businesses as a prime contractor, as well as a subcontractor or teaming partner for many of our contracts. Small business is big business at the MIC, and we're happy to answer any questions you might have. To begin, I've asked my small business professionals to address the top three questions received from the industry. Let's hear what they have to say. Hello, I am Deanna Ochoa, the small business professional for the Mission and Installation Contracting Command at Fort Sam Houston. I'm here to answer a question we get asked quite often. How do I meet with small business professionals or contracting officers to share the services and or products I provide? Are we able to meet directly with contracting officers? The small business professional is the main point of contact for you to market your company's capabilities. Mixed small business professionals can share information with you by email, telephone, or a virtual meeting. Due to COVID-19 restrictions on various installations, in-person meetings may not be possible at this time. Email addresses for mixed small business professionals 
can be found on the Small Business tab at the MIC website below. When you send a small business professional your capability information, they share it with their contracting staff and post it in a shared library for future reference. Our small business professionals have various methods of setting up meetings with contracting officers and or our government customers. They may set up a day or time for general capability briefings or capability briefings specific to a contract requirement on an as-needed basis. The contracting officer, along with a small business professional, may host an industry day to discuss and share information on a particular procurement. However, please remember, our contracting officers and customers need to spend the majority of their time working on those procurement packages to solicit the contract requirement. So, meeting with the contracting officer is a bit harder than reaching the small business professional. Another way to meet both the small business professional and the contracting officer is to attend outreach events that are hosted by local organizations such as Procurement Technical Assistance Centers or Small Business Development Centers. They may be a speaker or panelist or participate in matchmaking or one-on-one -on -one briefings. For example, a future matchmaking event with MIC contracting officers is taking place May 23rd and 24th, hosted by the Virginia PTAC. Additional details on this event will be posted to the SAM.gov in the near future. Also, please remember to watch for contracting opportunities at SAM.gov for sources sought announcements or requests for information. This is the contracting officer's way of reaching out to you and notifying you of an upcoming procurement, asking for your feedback and for you to provide some capability information to help us. One, develop the requirement and two, determine a possible small business or socioeconomic set-aside. Your responses to these announcements are an important communication tool that helps the contracting officer procure vital supplies and services to support the Army. Next, you will hear from one of our Office of Small Business Programs Assistant Directors, Lauren Van Enns. Thank you. Thanks, Deanna. Hello, I am Lauren Van Enns, the Office of Small Business Programs Assistant Director for the Fort Sam Houston Field Directorate Office. Another frequently asked question is how to find our upcoming acquisitions. The MIC, U.S. Army, and Department of Defense all advertise their upcoming procurement opportunities on the internet. Small businesses can visit the DOD's single point of entry for federal acquisitions website at SAM.gov, which will have the most up-to-date Army solicitations. SAM.gov can assist you in identifying MIC requirements and send you email notifications. The MIC posts its advanced acquisition forecast semi-annually. For details, please visit the Small Business tab at the MIC website. Small businesses can also locate subcontracting opportunities by visiting DOD subcontracting opportunities located on the Small Business Administration website at sba.gov. And as Deanna mentioned, another great way to view acquisition forecast information is by attending our annual Advanced Planning Briefings for Industry, or APBI. Contracting officers will not only provide a list of upcoming acquisitions, but will also highlight other details that may help you to compete as a prime or subcontractor on future MIC requirements. Next, you will hear from another Fort Sam Houston small business professional, Shirley Smith. Thanks, Lauren. Hello, my name is Shirley Smith, a federal small business professional with the MIC. I'm going to share five steps to get started in government contracting. Step one is to have your business already set up. This means to define and establish your product or service code and North American Industry Classification System, or NAICS. Obtain a DUNS, or a Data Universal Numbering System, number. 
This unique nine digit identifier has become the standard for identifying, connecting, and tracking millions of businesses worldwide. Then proceed to SAM.gov to complete your registration process. Step two is to establish past performance by building business relationships where you may be able to team or have a teaming agreement with large or small businesses to bid on a contract. Step three is to develop your marketing strategy. Have your business cards include essential information like company and contact information, certifications, and your product or service codes. Set up your website and design your marketing capability statement. Step four is to network. Like Deanna mentioned, plan to attend business outreach events or federal industry days like the MIC APBI and network with federal small business professionals. Meet your local procurement technical assistance center staff and connect with the Small Business Administration personnel. And lastly, but probably most important, do your homework. Research and focus on the federal agencies that use or need the product or service your company provides. Remember to have your business set up already, establish past performance, develop your marketing strategy, network, and do your homework. I look forward to meeting business owners interested in contracting opportunities in support of the mixed mission of taking care of soldiers and their families. Now back to the MIC Commanding General. During the APBI, engage my staff, study the forecasts, leverage the contacts, and position yourselves to be a partner in keeping our Army ready and the finest fighting force the world has ever seen. People first, winning matters, live the legacy.